Peace family. I'm Jory Richard. And this video is called The Path of Knowledge. The path of knowledge leads to life. And the path of ignorance leads to death. I was just watching a video on the Emerald Tablets of Thoth. And what really sticks out for me is that in the second chapter, the Halls of Amenti, the, these spiritual beings are looking down from above. And they're looking at men on the earth, that they're in bondage because of ignorance. Now these writings go back farther than any other writing on the earth. These are the original source documents where we get all our spiritual information from. So all the way back then, the Emerald Tablets of Thought are saying that men are in bondage on the earth because of ignorance. Now it's been thousands of years. We live in the age of information now. We don't even need to go to a library, a certain place that has all the knowledge and then read books. We could go on YouTube, get information directly from people that have seen it firsthand. We could pick up on people's experiences. We can learn information because we have these phones, we have computers in our pockets. But there is still ignorance on the earth. People are still in bondage. The majority is working for somebody else. And they've been programmed to, to be a part of this system and to make profit for somebody else. To just be a little cue in the whole system. But I want to be the one that controls the shit. I need to be the godfather. I love that part where in the Scarface movie that song is playing, push it to the limit. And then he's just like walking out of that building with the cigar and he's just fucking pimping. I need to be that guy. And I know that the only reason why I'm working a job and doing the 9 to 5 job is because this is what I've been trained to do my whole life. And if I had the knowledge... I'd be able to apply it and then get out of the situation immediately. But then maybe I am applying the knowledge and some things just take time. And all I have to do is just broadcast a message onto the internet. So this is my life. This is the human experience that I'm going through. And by studying myself and the way my mind works then I'll know what other people are going through because we're not all different when it comes down to it separation is an illusion and all the racism and bigotry the whole purpose is to cause division and to not allow people to bind together to put their minds together and create a mastermind group. If everybody, if you get 10 people that all had the same focus, they all had the same destination, manifesting one thing that they want to bring into the world and everyone's mind is on the same page, then they create a mastermind. They become unstoppable. But if you teach kids from a young age to sit down and shut up and to not communicate to other people, then they're going to be left alone on an island 
And how is that person going to survive? We need each other. I need you. And you need me. Let's just admit it. And then move on. I need to be independent to a certain extent. Meaning that I am generating the energy for other people. And then it comes to a point where the people that I am giving my energy to, they can become a clone of me and then do the same exact thing and then free themselves. And then this process, it becomes a domino effect. And my people are led to paradise. That's the goal. What up, Andresso? Cabrini? Boy, how you doing, bro? So the entities in the heavenly realm, thousands of years ago, they looked upon men on the earth and they saw that they were in bondage from ignorance. These things are never going to change. There's always going to be ignorance on the earth. And I can get all worked up and stressed out because I'm around a bunch of ignorant motherfuckers that don't give a shit. But that's not even worth my energy because I am of the truth and I got to recognize that that's just a part of life. That 99% of people are in ignorance. 1% wants the truth at any cost. But many people, they can't handle the truth. Like what Tom Cruise said. The truth? You can't handle the truth. I can handle it. And it's a lot, it's a lot to take in. Some people, if they found out that they were believing a lie their whole life, and every, every single thing that they think is true turns out to be alive, a, a lie, that could cause someone to have a heart attack and die. Just have so much fucking anxiety. Because I, I went through the public school system. I gave my energy to Christianity and to church. There was a time when verses were just running through my head. And I think it's fascinating that when you go to church, it keeps on saying, well, this is the truth, because it's the truth, and we all know that it's the truth. This is psychologically implanting it in your mind. This is a method of hypnosis. It's taking something that just made up, and it's telling you, this is the truth. And if I keep on telling you it's the truth over and over again, then you're gonna believe it's the truth. So there is a type of knowledge that's completely false. It's not real knowledge. It's just a culmination of lies and shit that other people made up in their mind. And the people put their thoughts and information in your mind, shit that they made up in order to just fuck you over, to take advantage of you. But it's presented in a way that you believe, I, I, I know the truth. I know that Jesus Christ died on the cross and he rose from the dead and he did that for me, for my sins. And there's nothing that anybody can say that'll, that'll cause me to think otherwise. And that's the problem right there. Programming the mind And you keep on telling the person, well, it's the truth, because it's the truth. And we all know that it's the truth. This is how you keep people in ignorance. You give them a philosophy, a mindset, and you keep telling them, this is the truth. When in fact... It's lies. It's misinformation. 
And then there's major trauma when you find out that I've been believing a lie my whole life. So that is ignorance. That's what keeps people in ignorance. And if we just applied the scientific method, so everything that we believe, we need to test it. We need to prove all things. And if we actually did this, then we would be believing less falsities. So that is what sticks out in my head about the Emerald Tablets of Thoth in the second chapter, the Halls of Amenti, how the entities in the heavenly realms are looking down on the ignorance that is in men. And that they're living in death. But these things can be broken out of. We could seek truth. We could find the truth. And if you desire the truth, then you're going to be that 1% that actually gives a shit, that wants to free himself and inherit the promised land. Who's coming with me? Who's coming with me to paradise? Because the only ones that are coming with me is the 1%. The people who seek the truth and they desire truth above all else. We use the scientific method and sometimes we actually, we're, we're believing some stupid shit. And then once we, once it gets rebuked, then we accept it. We don't cleave onto a lie. But most, the majority of people are children of the devil. They go to church four days a week. They sit and they eat up lies and they think that that's knowledge, that that is the truth. And that is what keeps them in bondage and makes them a slave in this society. Who's coming with me to paradise? We're inheriting the promised land. And I accept that only 1% is coming with me. But that's just the way it is. That's just the way it is, man. Ignorance leads to death, but knowledge leads to life. I'm Jory Richard. Thank you for watching. Peace. Johnny Fufu, -Foo, my man, Andrizzo, and Nazer Sharif. Peace, guys.